Hello YouTube, been a while. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own Plex Media server. Um, it works well with Roku's, Chromecast, Xbox. Really well if you have Android devices. You can purchase the Plex app, it's $5. And then once you have the Plex Media server set up on your computer, you can add any music files, pictures, uh, videos, any movies or anything like that you may have on your system to stream to your own self or to any of your friends or anyone like that that you actually want to share some of your videos and stuff with. The first thing you're going to have to do is go to Plex.tv and you're going to download the Plex app. So once you go to Plex.tv, click on Downloads. And then you have the option to download for either a NAS system or a computer. This is going to be on a computer, so we'll just click that one. Download in English. You can get it from Mac, Linux, FreeBSD, or Windows. Save. Whenever you get the Save As pop-up, just leave it as the name that it is. It'll help you find it a whole lot easier. It's already on my system, so I'm going to overwrite it. And then of course once it completes you just click down here on it and it'll start up the installer okay and then you'll get the dialog box open file security warning click run now you have the option to install options or close if you go to options it basically just gives you the option to lay out where you want the actual program to install click ok if you go to it I would recommend leaving the options alone and just click on install. Of course, user account control is going to pop up. Click yes. Alright, and once it completes, all you have to do is click on launch. And now you'll see you have the Plex Media Server down here. Seeing as how I already had the Plex Media Server, it's already going to have all the libraries and everything. But if you right click on it and go to Media Manager, this is where it's going to give you the opportunity to go in and set where your actual files are. Another thing, you're also going to want to create a Plex account. The easiest way to do that is clicking on sign up. It is completely free. You do not have to pay for it. Just put in your username, your email address, password, password confirmation, birth date, I agree, and sign up. Um, it will send an email for you to verify your email address. Once you go through the verification process, you have your account. And from there, your, your friends can send you friend invites and all that stuff. And then once you have your friends on there, you can actually share stuff with them. You will want to sign in to your Plex account. And then to add the folders and stuff, you just click on the plus up here. Tell it what it is that it's after. Set your language naturally. And then you go to add a folder and you can put in the folder to where it's at. And be able to go from there. There's a few settings that you'll want to make sure is checked. For one... You'll want to check for updates semi-regularly. If you hit show advanced, there's a few advanced options that don't pop up on others. You have your debug, general, your dashboard settings, search, player. This basically just gives you control over how everything's going to lay out, how it looks. Uh, your your quality over your local land which is the local quality remote quality of so you're playing over a player that is over the internet three megabit per second it's not bad at 720p and then the actual server and you know, we set up the name of the server and tell it to send anonymous usage or not and there's the automatically check for updates connect see it a lot of sign in is me it's connected to Plex updates the library checks for new uh, content hourly so I mean it just it does all kinds of things there's the DLNA that uses uh, let's see Microsoft and PS3 both use DLNA so you can actually stream directly to either one of those players 
and of course naturally once you're in you can hit sign in and once you sign in you can actually use any computer anywhere you can sign directly in and then you can actually go to your servers and there's where your server is at you can also just check out and see if you have anything shared and you can click on edit sharing and as you can see there's two shares that I have going right now and then right here is where you can also share add other friends to share your files with them so they can actually sit there and view everything that you have for the most part it streams extremely well it works very very well over the internet as long as you have a decent upload uh, I wouldn't want to try it on anything with less than 2 megasecond upload speed 1.5 is okay but 480p is really blah 3 megasecond you can do uh, 720p and anything 8 megasecond uh, anything up above around 5 to 6 megaseconds fully capable of 1080p which is the absolute best quality Plex is 100% free except for the app for Android and the apps on uh, the Roku's and stuff like that you will have to pay for the app but once you buy that five dollar app from that point on you can use it for free you don't have to have the Plex Pass account for this to work your friends don't have to have the Plex Pass account and every time your computer starts up Plex will automatically start on its own updates are super super simple the user interface is super simple uh, this is a very very good viable option